Hey, I think, I think I'm live now. Hi, hi everyone. It's Carol from Carol's Creative Corner. I, I am so glad to be back. It's been a little bit busy for me. Um, I'm in the middle of, we're going to finish our basement at some point. I don't have a timeline yet uh, in terms of when it will be done, but it means I have to move all my craft stuff out of my room and find another place to work. So uh, that's what I've been busy doing. And so it hasn't given me as much time to create. Um, but yesterday I posted a uh, post out there about uh, which said I should play with next. And thank you so much for those of you who responded. Um, the Whale Done set um, was clearly a winner for me to go next. And so it was so much fun creating with it. And I created the card last night and I wanted to share it with you and show you how to make it. So um, I think that's everything that I wanted to do. I want to make sure too, though, that I get set up and it takes a few minutes to get set up so that you can see comments. Um, so I'm just getting that set up and well, then we'll get started. Uh oh. Oh, the audio has to go off. There we go. Okay. Hey, Cindy and Kathy, how are you? So glad that you could join me. Let me um, flip the camera around and show you this card that I created yesterday, and then I'm going to show you how to make it. So um, let me just switch around. And to my camera here. Oh, and before I get started, I did want to mention a couple great specials that Stampin' Up! is having right now. Um, they are having the uh, special annual catalog kickoff celebration. And that is going on through June 30th. So we still have nine days or so to take take advantage of this and it's giving uh, people who place or hostesses who place a $250 order they're giving them an additional $25 in stamping rewards so that really translates to an actual $50 in additional rewards for a $250 order now um, you can also achieve this by hosting a party so if you host a party and other people place orders against it and you get to 250 well then you'll get 50 dollars of additional product reward so i think it's a great deal and uh, contact me if you want to host this in order and um, i'll help you get started and we can advertise it on facebook and other things so it's definitely achievable if you want to take advantage of that the second offer is um, is if is picking a free bundle starter kit promotion. So our starter kit, uh, you get ninety nine dollars worth of product, um, uh, or for four ninety nine dollars of product, you get one hundred and twenty five dollar in product value. So uh, they're also adding on to pick a free bundle. Uh, also, during, if you sign up uh, during this month, so uh, if you sign up under me. There's no additional obligation if you're just a hobbyist and you don't really want to make it into a business. That's no problem at all. Um, take, you just want to take advantage of the discount that you get, which is 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 a valuable right there. Um, that's all available to you as well. But this month you get an extra free bundle, so that's a great deal too. So I want to make sure I told you about those things before I forget. So that's um, through the end of the month. Both of those are. So, okay, let's get on to the card now. So um, here is the, the card. It is called a floating gatefold card. You can't tell yet, but here's the belly band for the card. Don't you just love that little whale? I love the whale. So anyway, this is some of the paper that's used um, on the, it's called the whale of a time uh, card stock. So I put a couple pieces there. And then when you open it up, it's a floating scene. <laughs> So I just had so much fun creating that. I love, love, love the paper, the whale of a time paper, because it's so easy to make a scene on the inside of your car. And isn't that striking? Uh, just so much fun to give to uh, your favorite person. So um, that's the card that we're going to make. And I'm going to just show you how I made that as well as the belly band. But let me set that aside for a moment and just show you the products that we're using today. So um, we're going to be using the Whale Done set. Uh, we use the saying, thanks a ton, but it also has a Whale Done. Uh, my love for you is bigger than the ocean. 
which is wonderful. Uh, uh, you're kind of a big deal and hoping your birthday fishes come true. So, and then all these wonderful designs and they're distinctive, which means that when you stamp them, you get, uh, it makes it look realistic because it's got this gradation of color and makes it look 3D. So I just absolutely love this set and I love turtles. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, when we go back, I'm wearing my turtle necklace today and my turtle t-shirt, forgot to show you. So I'm in love with turtles and I'm in love with whales. Uh, I did have an opportunity to see whales uh, on my 50th birthday. My husband took us to Baja Peninsula, this very isolated um, little area that you can uh, stay overnight in and then take a boat out in the morning and see the whales. It was just so peaceful. Um, we had one come right up to our boat. So. I knew I had to get this set as soon as it came out. And then when it was just adorable, I mean, you had to, ha I had to have it. So, so here it is. These are the products we're using today, as well as here is the lovely paper. And I cut a turtle out. That's uh, one of the things I did on the card. I did cut a turtle out and I did punch one of the whales for this card. So what's nice is you get two uh, designs, uh, and four, four sheets each of two, uh, different colors of whales. So you get the gray and the bluish, and then you get the turquoise, bluish, and purple. So I used a purplish kind of whale. Um, so you get that, and that's nice because the punch that um, punch that I showed you, uh, it does cut cut those out directly from the paper. So you can. What's nice about that is that you can use the whale from the stamp set and punch it out. Uh, you can use the whales from the paper. Uh, and, uh, and then of course you can do the whales from the punch, build, build your own whale. So I, I love this paper. It has a lot of scenes, a lot of water and, uh, the backsides are lovely as well. So, but this is one of the papers that I used and it went so well with the scenery paper. So I combined these together to make this card. So, um, I love this combination. So I use that and I look forward to using some of these other fun ones with the little crab. And let's see what else we have in here. More whales, oh, the turtles. Absolutely love the swimming turtles. I can easily picture that on the inside of a card. So these all coordinate well together. And oh, here's some smaller whales and some jellyfish, little turtles. So I'm absolutely in love with this paper. Um, I'm not sure how many packs I'm gonna have to order, but oh, look at that. Isn't that nice and colorful? Love that as well. And then the water. So that just gives you an idea. And oh, isn't that wonderful? I can picture a whale in the middle of that, can't you? So anyway, um, that's, that's the paper. And I fell in love with the paper as well. And one thing I didn't use on today's card was the uh, embossing folder. I don't know how well you can see that. But isn't that absolutely gorgeous? I can picture that in blue with some white, uh, you know, uh, putting white ink inside the embossing folder to, uh, to have this be a two-tone effect. So I'm um, looking forward to trying that out. And another little thing I just had to have is look at these. Aren't they beautiful sequins? And we are going to use these on today's card. And it's actually, it's going to be hard to tell but it's a little shell. Isn't that fabulous? So I absolutely love the sequence. Goes beautiful with this paper. It does make you think of, uh, of the sea when I look at these. So um, we're gonna use a few of those on today's card. So the other products we're gonna use, just so you know where they came from, this is the smooth sailing die and we are gonna take it. This is the smooth sailing set of dies, but this piece, which just coordinated so well with uh, the seaweed on the card that I just had to take it out of that set and use it for today's card. The other, the other uh, set of dies that we're gonna use today is the Tasteful Labels. I can't tell you how many times I've already used this set. I love it. Um, we're gonna use this big die. This is gonna be for the label. And then we're gonna use this one. What I like about this set is how easily they do nest together. If I wanted to go, um, these all can nest inside each other, which makes it real easier for, for layering and adding different colors to the front of your card. So you can see from, from the belly band here that I use the big one for the blue, and then I use the white, I use this inside one. Okay, so um, anyway, so now I am going to, we'll show you how to put the card together, yay. <laughs> now it's time to put the card together. and. Um, 
So this is where I started. Now I had taken, um, you know, a piece of paper that was five and a half um, by eight and a half, and I just scored it at two and an eighth and six and three eighths. Now you won't have to remember all these measurements unless you've got to make this card right now. <laughs> you, I'll try to remember to give you all the measurements because I will have these instructions for this card posted by Wednesday. Um, I have a class coming up where I'm doing another tutorial for this floating gate bowl card and the class starts on Thursday. So I will make sure I have the instructions out there for you on how to make this card. So I took uh, one of the things I suggest is on this paper that I used for the inside. This one here. Anytime I have to cut that paper down, because uh, it's six inches on this side, I always take a strip off of it so that I can reuse it on a card. So in this case, we need to cut it to five and a quarter by four to fit on this inside panel. So, um, so the first thing I did was cut off the top strip so that it's now um, uh, five and a quarter. So, and then I saved these strips and uh, I did that with the seaweed paper as well. So, and we are gonna use that strip on the card. So I try to maximize the use of this paper. So cut that off first before you trim this down. So cut that off and then, um, I, here's the other half. So then I took, and this is uh, two, two inches. So I just took the paper, cut off the top, and then took a two inch. And this is these, these are these two panels for the inside. We're gonna glue that on. And then this piece came with that matching coordinating paper right here. And so I did, I took, uh, I needed to make that uh, five and a quarter. So I took three fourths of an inch strip off the top of this and then cut this down to two inches. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna glue that on and that's gonna be our inside seam. Isn't that fabulous, fabulous. So let's see, I don't, I'm gonna move this up so that you can see how I'm progressing. Very easy card, it's actually a very easy card to make. Um, even in its simplest form where you don't add a whole bunch of detail, it's still, it's a fabulous card. So now I'll center that on here and then we'll do our centerpiece. Okay. So now we've got our scenery. How easy is that? Isn't that so simple? That's why I love this paper because it's so easy. Uh, okay, so now the second piece to do is these little floating, the floating arms. Oh, and I put two pieces of that paper on the front panels. So there you go, there's your whole base of your card. Now you just have to assemble the pieces. Okay, so here is a piece that is one, one inch by uh, four and a half. Okay, and I scored at one, uh, two and a half and three and a half. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bend this. And what I liked about this um, card is that the turtle is gonna be down here at the bottom. You can put these arms anywhere you want on inside your card. So I wanted the turtle down here. So we'll put that on first. So what I did is I, I closed both corners and I'm gonna glue that down. Let's see if you can see that. I'm gonna glue it down to the inside of my card. Where, where I want it. Now the, the, there's only one important piece to remember. And that is that you want this, the longest section right here. You want that closest uh, to the inside here. So don't put, the, don't put the short piece like this. Don't put the short piece there. Put the long section closest to the inside of the card here. So we'll put our turtle right about here. I just fold the pieces like that and they were scored, they were pre-scored and then see how that creates a little arm for your turtle to sit on. And so we're gonna do the same for this next sheet. We're gonna fold the, the uh, on, on the score lines that we made. And then I'm gonna um, put adhesive on the inside pieces. I'm not able to see that very well. I'm gonna put that on the inside pieces. And then I'm gonna make sure this long section, the longest section is closest to the inside of the card. So we'll put our whale right up here and I just uh, fold it down. I kind of make sure it's straight and looky there, we have our two arms. How easy is that? 
So now you've got the base of your card. Just imagine all the possibilities of what you can do with this gatefold card. So um, I do have the pieces pre-cut, so that would save some time. I'm um, assuming you, you, uh, you'll be able to follow me on all of those pieces, but I did want to show you how I was going to punch the whale. So what I did is for the turtle, I thought he should sit in some seaweed. So I color, I cut out using that dye from Sail Away, the seaweed. I, this is pretty peacock paper. And then this is gable green. And then I cut out in a piece of the white vellum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, adhere them together in the middle because in the middle of the seaweed, I'm gonna adhere them together because I want the seaweed to kind of look like it's fitting on the sea floor there. So um, that's what I'll do next. I'll put some adhesive on each of these pieces. Let's see, my card is a little in the way, isn't it? I'm gonna move it up so you can see better. Okay, I'm just gonna layer these pieces. I just put some glue on in the middle like that. Let's see, we'll put a little more. And I don't like my adhesive to show very much. So what I do is I just take my finger and I just take out the pieces so that I don't have to erase the extraneous glue with my, with my eraser. Okay, so now we've got our three pieces stuck together. And then we're gonna put that so that the bottom it's kind of at the bottom of the card. So that's how that's gonna work. And then we did fussy cut. Yes, we had to fussy cut um, a turtle. And so I cut out this pretty blue turtle and we're just gonna put a little adhesive on the back. And what's really great is he's swimming, swimming already in the right direction, which I love. So I'm gonna stick him right here on our card. So, and you'll notice that it fits very nicely. I think the only thing you need to remember is when you put anything on this arm, you can't have it go like longer, you know, the longer than over here because it'll interfere with the closing of your card. That's the only thing you have to remember. Okay, so then we're ready for the, the whale. Now here's what I did, and this is a trick that you may already know, but with the whale, I had cut around him on the designer series paper because I wanted to punch him really nice. So in order to do that, you don't have much paper to hang on to. So you just use a post-it note and you stick them in your punch like this and you get him lined up the way you would like. Oh, my post-it note's a little crooked. So you get them lined up the way you want with there and you keep them on the post-it note and he will punch out beautifully. Let's see, I think that's good. And there he is. <laughs> Isn't he sweet? All right. So now what we're going to do, and I should have put my silicone craft mat out sooner. I put a little adhesive on the back of him because we're going to put him on the other arm. So like, like, so let me see. I think I want him to cover up that blue. And notice that I used uh, the, the arms are balmy blue um, because it matches so well with the inside of the paper that it's really not as noticeable. So there you go, there's your inside of the card. So it looks just, you know, with so much color and so much detail and the paper did a lot of the work. So, uh, so that's how you do this piece. How about if we show you how to do the belly band? All right, so here's the belly band and the, I think uh, the measurements for that were eight, 11 and a quarter. And I scored at two and an eight and six and a half. Okay, so that fits nicely around the card. And remember, I told you that I cut off three quarters of an inch of the top of the paper uh, before I cut my sections for the card. Well, I'm gonna use that piece now on the front of our belly band. So um, I usually fold the belly band so that the seam is in the middle uh, because usually there's something covering up that and that way in the back, it's all nice and smooth. So first thing I'm gonna do is glue my belly band shut. And I'll do that, I'll put that on the, on the large piece first. And oops, I put too much, but that's okay because I'm gonna be layering this paper over it. So I took a piece of uh, granny apple green uh, to put behind that. And so this is three quarters and the granny apple green is one inch and it goes the width of this, which is four and a quarter. So now I'm gonna put that on. And I, uh, the, I have 
folding cards like this and they just have a front on them, but I'm preferring the belly band on them because they don't always stay shut as well, especially when you've got some detail in there. So um, I like using a belly band for that, keep it shut. And then plus it's like putting a bow on your package, isn't it? When you add a belly band, I love figuring out how I'm going to decorate the top of my little package. And this is like a little package. So there we go, that's, that's the front piece. And then we've got, we've got the uh, label that we cut out and the white piece. And we just, we need to stamp that. So we're gonna use our pretty peacock ink. And uh, maybe you know this trick already, but anyway, if you wanna open up your pad, you, uh, you start like that, press there, and it gives this an easy opening. Um, if you haven't figured that out already. And so we're gonna, stamp our thanks a ton onto the center of this little white sheet of paper. Thanks a ton. There we go, thanks a ton. And then we're going to decorate that with the front on the front of our card. So let's layer this up, put the white tag on top of the blue. Like so, and then we will put uh, we will put our two pieces of seaweed and we'll do that about three quarters of the way up because it'll attach nicely to the card, but we'll leave this all free flowing. It won't, it'll be detached. So we'll put a piece here and then we'll put another piece here. And like I said, I like to get rid of this extra glue before I put it down and it comes off really nicely, but just rubbing your finger and you still have stick. So, um, if you don't, there's always these erasers that can take off your extra glue. All right, so what are we missing? We're missing our whale. We gotta have a, another whale. And see if I can fix that. I can't find my little whale. Um, sorry about that. I'm wondering where my little whale is. Maybe that was the one I punched out. Maybe I'll have to punch another one. So we have one for the front of our card because it's so cute uh, that we have the punch made this little splash. Uh, that's So we wanna definitely cut out one of those, our little splashes. So I'm gonna just line up my paper into the splash and then just cut. And I'm gonna save those two little pieces so that the whale has a little splash up above. So, and then we're gonna, we're gonna glue both of those on. So that'll be, so we're gonna try and work with these tiny little pieces. All right, that's how I do it. I just glue, glue, glue. We're gonna put those up there. Oh man, uh oh, you know what? I got a little ink on it, but I am so glad because we know that there's a whale that's gonna go right on that spot. So I will, it looks like I will just cut out another whale out of the paper. How easy that is to do. Let's see. I'm looking for the one that is purple. Okay, so here we go. We've got a purple whale. We're just going to cut him out. And we're going to add him right to the front of that. Now, I think this one I had actually stamped. And um, I'm going to show you it because I love the way it stamps it's distinctive, um, meaning you can see all the, whoops, you can see all the different layers. I need a, I need a little sponge mat so he comes out nicely. Maybe if I put him on here, let's see, he'll come out better on the silicone pad. Isn't he cool though? So I did match, had it match the front of the card by just um, stamping it in pretty peacock and then punching him out. So that's how the front of that card was made. But for now, We'll just use this purple one. He looks fine. And we'll just cover up that little smudge we got on our fingers there and voila. Okay, so that is our little decoration for the front of the card. Now I def definitely liked adding the little sequence. It just, um, that was fun. And that also comes in our suite. So we can add a few pieces to the front of that. Do right now and the way I like to do adding sequence is I like to use glue dots. So we're going to get a glue dot and then I love our take a pick tool. So our take a pick tool 
has this one end that allows you to pick up very small, tiny little pieces of things and sequence would be one of them. So let's find a dark piece. I found a dark piece. See how that picks that up really nicely. And I'm going to put it on top of the glue dot. And then I'm going to take this and um, move it right to my project. So isn't that cool? And of course, we have to have one of these little shells. They're gorgeous. I love these little shells. Perfect for this project. And so, and the pick tool, uh, by the way, has a pointy tip. It has a little um, scraper. If you haven't seen it, it's the best tool ever. I just absolutely love it. And it has an optional uh, brush too for your die cutting if you need to get your little pieces out of your die. And so now we're going to take that little pretty little shell and we're going to put it on top of the front of this belly band right here at the bottom because that's where they normally be sitting. Anyway, so you get the idea. Now the only other piece left is to put this on the front. And I really prefer to use dimensionals. And so I know I want this to sit on the front of my card. So I'm just going to put dimensionals on the belly band. And then we are we have um, we have our topper for our card all set to go. All right, let's see. Here we go. Whale of a time. Thanks a ton. And then here's our card. We just fold that up and we slip the belly band. Oops, oh, did you see the little turtle ticking, sticking out? Isn't that cute? Hey, what an idea for a card too, right? Is you could close it and you could have a little guy sticking out like that. I, I, I like that. I think uh, I have to make a card like that. I love that idea. All right, so uh, we just put our belly band on and our card is finished. Flip it on and uh, you have a card and it has other sayings in it that you can use for any occasion. So um, I hope you like this card. I love this set. Oh, I think we forgot. We forgot to put the sentiment in on the middle. So thanks a ton. And then thoughtful, kind, generous, that's you. That comes from our well said uh, stamp set. So I can put that on. So this card is ready to go and ready to gift to someone to thank them. There we go, and that fits perfectly inside. So anyway, so that's uh, this card. I just, I can, I can see that I will make lots of them, which means I need um, lots of paper. But what's nice is if I run out of paper, I've got the stamp set to make more whales. I've got the turtle to make more turtles. And uh, so I'm excited about that. So that's the, today's project. I uh, hope you liked it. Um, uh, so I'm going to flip over to me and I'm just going to say a few words before I sign off, but I hope you liked it. Oh, let me show you. There's my turtle. There's my turtle necklace. I got that from my sister for my birthday, as well as a, a wonderful gift, which was to follow the turtles around. You can follow them in a map. Um, so my turtle was named Isla. And uh, so I thought that was a really clever gift. Anyway, if you like turtles. Um, so I have an upcoming class uh, through the end of the month, um, which is the folding gatefold card that I just did, but I had originally designed it with sunflowers. So this is the card. See how you can put a, um, how you can put a saying all also, and then we had done the flower at the bottom and the big sunflower in the middle. So that's my card through the end of the month. It's a make, uh, you know, it's a, to go class. If you're interested in that, it's still open until the end of the month. And we're having our virtual sessions where we make the cards together uh, this coming week. So if you're local, can always make you a packet, but it, it might be too late to get it to you to, to mail unless we did it priority, then it could get to you. So if you're interested in that, there are three designs. Uh, this, this is the pink, and then this is the green, and, and then I just showed you the blue. So these will be the three cards that you're making. You can go to my website. You can see what time the virtual sessions are. And um, you can get your packet, this packet for the class. Uh, I, I think priority would have to be the way we go. And if you want to attend the virtual, otherwise uh, I can mail them out to you and you can assemble them at home. And I'll give you, and the instructions will be on my website. Um, also, I'm going to be having a class at the end of July, which is going to use our memories and more pack. 
Uh, so this has 10 cards. It includes all our new in colors, which um, I absolutely love. I love them together. And we're going to be using some of the new product in this class. Uh, jar of flowers will be used. Blossom and blooms will be used. And we'll be using this wonderful cardstock. And look at the envelopes that match. So when we get finished cards, it'll look really professional having these great um, cards and they're a little bit bigger than A2. So there'll be lots to decorate, which will be fun. So that class is coming up, the virtual sessions, that's gonna be in July. And that is going to be July 23rd, 24th and 25th will be the virtual sessions. So that's where we get together and we put them together um, and get to catch up and have conversation, which I really enjoy and miss still during this time period. But um, I keep keep hoping it'll it'll change. I know it'll change, but um, but I really have met a few people, new people, virtual, and um, I just love that too. So my um, my class structure will change. I will have still in person when we can do that again, and when I feel comfortable and our family feels comfortable having people come in. Um, but we'll also do virtual. So I hope to meet some of you, and I hope you can come to one of my classes. And hey, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll see you again next week. Thanks. Bye.